This next guy, ladies and gentlemen, is from Cherokee Funding, and the back of the club, Sip and Moet, is where you'll find him. Please make welcome Chris Conifree, please. So, like, I just got back from Mexico. And I don't know if you guys do this shit, but I do it. Like, I go to Mexico for, like, six days, and I lose my mind. Because I think I can speak Spanish when I get back. <laughs> so, like, first thing I do is I'll go to a Mexican restaurant. See the, uh, the hostess? Senorita! <laughs> Don't do the baño, huh? She's like, the bathroom is at the end of the bar, like it is in every other Taco Mac in Atlanta. So I'm not a not a lawyer. Everyone that doesn't know me is like, you don't say. You're dressed like a Turkish EDM DJ with a two-star rating on Yelp Istanbul. <laughs> but I'm a vendor, which is, it's like hard to prepare something like this when you're a vendor. There's like no vendor jokes like there are lawyer jokes. Like no vendor ever took half your shit in a divorce. <laughs> and so being a vendor is hard though, it's competitive. Like I'm a 48-year-old man, and then like, especially in like the legal funding world where like, Every one I compete with is like a 26-year-old, beautiful woman, former fitness model, smart, works hard, might be double-jointed. <laughs> Pretty good at keeping a secret. <laughs> no, but like... I was like I said, I'm 48, and I've been through a bunch of shit in the last four years. Like, I got married, got to, had a child, got divorced, got engaged, had a child, got divorced. <laughs> Fuck, that's not funny. And, and, <laughs> and so, like, most of the guys my age, like, have their shit together. They like do like adult stuff. They, they like talk like they're on Mad Men and like they have like, they wear khakis or dockers and button down shirts. Have elbow patches on their blazers and shit. I, I dress like I took the show Entourage a little too seriously. <laughs> like I thought that shit was a documentary. <laughs> I was like. But no, but um, but no, but like, I try to be an adult. Like I, I try, like I'm 48, I try to get my shit together and I'm like, Monday through Wednesday, I like, I got it together. Like I do shit, like I like recycle. <laughs> like, I watch NCIS. <laughs> like if you have a fondue party, I'll probably come. <laughs> but then like, <laughs> Thursday night rolls around, and there I am at Johnny's fucking hideaway again. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Johnny's isn't bad, though. Like, Johnny's, you can go to Johnny's if you have, like, 55 people. <laughs> you go with, like, two people, the bartender will just be like, you want me to just put the roofie in the drink and just take their suspense out of it for you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm from New York. Oh, anybody here from New York? That's like the best reaction I ever got from somebody from New York. Usually when you're from New York, somebody else from New York, so whoa, 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 who's this guy? Who? Where, where, you're from New York? Where are you from New York? Long Island. Get the fuck out of here. Long Island. That's not New York. Nothing's good. You can be, you can be from the city. Where are you from? 86. Get the fuck out of here. 86th Street, that's like next to Vermont. <laughs> Nothing's good. I live inside the fucking torch of the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> oh, oh, you're a high rise guy. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> but I love, like, I love 
I love living in the South now. Because, like, you motherfuckers don't judge me. Like, <laughs> if it was New York, I was like, a, they'd, like they'd be like, you, they'd be like, if I, if I was in New York, somebody, hey, about Chris, he's got two kids with two different women. No! Here, you guys like want to bake me cookies when I tell you your story. story. <laughs> I could be talking to a girl down here, and I'd be like, I don't even have to button up the story. I'd be like, yeah, I got two kids and two different women. Might have a third out there. I don't fucking know. <laughs> She'd be like, but you're not married now. <laughs> I'd be like. No. Okay. And y you and your ex-wife, you never like gotten a fist fight on your front lawn over a three liter bottle of Mountain Dew? <laughs> the fuck? No, no, no. And you can like go within like 200 feet of skulls and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, well I'm going home. Are you coming? The other thing I love about the South, like Southern women, your intricate knowledge of college football is like no other. Like I was at, I was at a party with like my friend's mother. This woman has grandchildren. We're talking, game's up here, she's watching the game. She's kind of talking to me, saying some Southern shit. Now what she needs, what she needs is, is, is a little more Jesus in her. How the fuck are you gonna, what? How the fuck you gonna say in cover two when the, when the slot receiver just went in motion to the weak side and with an empty goddamn backfield? <laughs> they ran the same damn play in Tuscaloosa three years ago on third and four with six minutes left in the third quarter. <laughs> Pay attention to the goddamn film room. I'm sorry, sweetie. Did you say you could go within 200 feet of a school? You need to meet my daughter. I'm Chris Connerfree. Thank you. Keep it going for Chris Connerfree. That was awesome, right? <laughs>